In this video, we'll find the oxidation state for each of the elements here in Cu3P. This is called copper 1 phosphide. So when we look at this, there's no negative or positive after the compound here. So it's a neutral compound and all the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. Next, copper, it's a transition metal. We don't know its oxidation state just by looking at it. We have to look at what it's bonded to. Phosphorus, that doesn't show up on our list either, though. We'll have to look at this rule here that says the more electronegative element, phosphorus is more electronegative, um, in this compound, it's going to be equal to the charge on that element if it was an ion. So phosphorus forms ions with a 3 minus ionic charge. So the oxidation number we're going to say is minus 3. So in order for this to all equal 0, 3 times plus 1, that would give us 3. So 3 plus minus 3, that adds up. To zero. So the oxidation number on each copper atom here in Cu3P is a positive one. And that's why we call it copper 1 phosphide. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for each element in copper 1 phosphide. Thanks for watching.